that Russian guy? So what? what is the Internet historian? What is this? You guys always talk about him. You guys always talk about him. What is Brad's wife? What is this? What is this? February 27th, 2017. A woman comes home to deliver her Make husband some bad news. She has been fired from her job at Cracker Barrel. They gave no notice. They gave no reason. The husband. There's a guy in chat who's alter. Boah, oh, there's a guy in chat who says total war music. What? And then another guy, Napoleon, total war music. Brad embraces her. A tear rolls down her cheek. Brad's hands tighten into fists. Eleven years of service, he whispers under his breath. Nanette, fetch me the computer. To say I'm pissed off would be an understatement. After eleven years of service, ah, this is an angle. Oh, this is real people. Good. Cough, cough. Thank you, Biden man. <laughs> All the best, Biden. Don't die. Uh, Caramel is gonna take over. Is this actually real? Ah, this is actually Life's real. Okay. A cracker barrel. Let my wife go. I would really like to know why. And those of you who know me these days know that I will find out. In the meantime, if any of you would also like to know, please go to their Facebook page and ask them. This old boy is storming. And send. That'll do it. With that, he put his arm around Annette, and they fell asleep together on the couch. A week passes. It's Brad's birthday. Hey, Nanette, has there been any word back yet on why you're fired? This old boy is still storming. She shook her head. Outrageous. Nanette, fetch me the computer again. I'm going to make another... He always goes for stupid shit that happened on the internet in real. Ah, okay. A Facebook post. Today is my Fucking birthday. Brad. Why did you fire my wife? <laughs> what the now fuck? Now we wait. Don't forget your cake. Brad squinted his eyes. <laughs> this is the, the fucking scene in L.A. No R. It's a mechanic. It's a mechanic and you're like, did you kill him? And he's like, I didn't. Well, I didn't kill him, man. Made a wish. Oh, that was and great, blue. man. He put his arm around Annette, and again, they fell asleep together on the couch. Okay. But that night, as they dreamed, something special happened. A miracle of sorts. What the fuck? People started joining in. People saw the post, then semi sarcastically oh, also began Just demanding Brad's answers. Dude, then with all... All jokes aside, with memes you can actually... Like, if, if you watched um, The Boys Season 2, Stormfront, memes are actually a good thing that can really reach people. Like, the Russian bots, they're using memes and stuff, right? More joined in. Then more. You monsters fired Brad's wife. Justice for Brad's wife. 11 years. Release Brad's <laughs> wife. The template of the joke was simple and spreadable. Promoting desserts, are we? Brad's wife used to love desserts. New item on the menu, Brad's wife would have made it twice as good. Today we remember 9-11, Brad's wife used to love 9 -11. It spread from their Facebook, <laughs> to their Twitter, to their Instagram, to all of their social media platforms. Deservedly but so, this man, wasn't that your poor usual woman. raid by 4chan. This was something... What? What even is 4chan? I, I'm so old. 4chan is like a forum where a bunch of virgins meet and connect but then what is Reddit? Isn't Reddit the same? What's the difference between Reddit and 4chan? Like whenever someone is going out killing people in real life, he posts it, he posts it on 4chan. What the fuck is 4chan, bro? It's Reddit for retards? It's more edgy? Different. An army of mostly boomers putting cracker over the barrel. <laughs> it was the moms and dads of middle America leading the charge. And Brad was there as the standard bearer. He embraced the meme. Why did you fire my wife? He repeated. Please share, he demanded. <laughs> Soon there was me. nothing that Cracked Barrel could post that wouldn't immediately be turned into a discussion about the plight of poor Nanette. Wait. It's a short break, guys. As 
always. A petition is started and goes nowhere. <laughs> and once that failed, the call started rolling in. Oh, Hi, I have a quick question for you guys. Yeah. Why did you guys fire Brad's wife? So, uh, I guess what I'm asking is if you would just go ahead and hire her back, uh, and then we can just pretend like this whole thing didn't happen. And what's a good harassment campaign without a soundtrack? You just fired her. People have too much time, but it's kind of funny. But this was just the beginning. Other companies saw this meme and decided to add fuel to oh, the fire. Oh shit, even real companies joining? On social joining? media they were posting about Brad's wife. Now hiring In Brad's IRL, wife. they were putting up clever signs man, promoting memes, man, you Brad's can reach people. wife. And that Very prompted clever. the news to get involved. More teens are having fuck, having... Coverage from People <laughs> Magazine, The Mirror, Washington Post, Fortune, and many, 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 many more. That's fun. when things really started to spread out into the streets. Oh, People man. made posters, signs, and t-shirts. And they even started visiting the restaurant just to ask about Brad's wife. Who's Brad? Well, Brad's not important, but his wife, they fired her after 11 years of service. I don't know what you're talking about. After 11 years. That, on his birthday. Is that, I heard about that. That yep. was terrible. Yeah. Oh, now there's a wait time in here. How long? Oh, it's a long time. Because Brad's wife isn't here. Brad could see that things were spiraling out I've of control. I've never heard of this in my life. He Must called on the troops thing. not to harass the local chain. The firing was a corporate decision. Thank you. Uh, Good Lord's morning. Me. I still okay, have not heard from see. said company. But I would like everyone to remember that some very good people work for them. So if you want answers, please direct questions to the home office. Ooh, They're the ones that. who fired my wife. Oh shit. But it did little to temper things down. You fired Brad's wife? You shall be on fire. <laughs> what so the in fuck? all this time, Brad still hadn't heard back from the company. And we feared that we'd never get answers. But one smooth talker succeeded in getting a few details by pretending to be a manager from the corporate office. Whoa! I got this email from my boss today stating something about um, Brad's wife. Do you know her personally? Yes, sir. She was my boss. And that's when she spilled the beans. I think it was she had she was kind of a softie, sir. Now, from here, we could have just called it a day. But here's the thing about boomer humor. They don't know how to let a joke go. That's true. Once something is funny, it remains funny to them for years. That is so true. And that doesn't spell good news for Cracker Barrel social media. So, that's what the future holds for Cracker Barrel. Years more of hashtag I've never even Brad's heard of Cracker Barrel. But what about for poor Nanette? Well, there's good news. It turns out that a lot of those offers by other businesses to hire Brad's wife weren't entirely sarcastic. 11 years of service? Come on in for an interview. Dozens and dozens of That's real cute. offers started rolling in. Suddenly, Brad's wife had her pick, and she could work you pretty much me? anywhere she wanted. And that, roughly speaking, is where the story ends. You can still visit Cracker Barrel today, and the top comment will still be some dumb shit about firing <laughs> Brad's wife. But that doesn't matter, because better than an answer, Brad got his wife a new job. Good and this job, old Brad. boy could finally rest. Dude, Brad is mad lad. He defended his passed. wife and he got a job. Yeah, what if uh, Brad's Ad wife was time. a shit person though? You go to log into your internet bank. What if Brad's wife was actually really evil? And the bad shit, who knows? Hey, we can watch one of these videos every day if you want. Just remind me. We can watch uh, one of them every day.